Aesthetic News. This is Jan Herdman and today I'm speaking with Dr. Manoj Kumar, who is the Head of Plastic Surgery at the Get Well Sondaria, as well as Head of Plastic Surgery at Max Healthcare Delhi. Welcome and thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. And I know I've just taken you out of, or grabbed you after theatre. Uh, you've been doing a liposuction, I understand. Oh uh, yeah, it's a pretty strenuous job and I've just finished it. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to talk to you. Lovely. Tell me, that's just one of the processes that you do. What else do you do? Well, we are uh, offering all kinds of uh, cosmetic and aesthetic surgical uh, services here in the mm -hmm. South area. Uh, right from rhinoplasty, all kinds of breast reductions, breast augmentations, uh, liposuction as you uh, just have done. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there are several other things like male gynecomastia. Uh, yes, okay. And I also understand that there's something called an automated hair transplant as well? Yeah, that is called SAFER. The full form of SAFER is Suction Assisted Follicular Extraction and Replantation. Okay. So what it all means uh, is that we've got a robotic machine by mm -hmm. which we can take out, and of course this is used for hair transplant, and it's a revolutionary new technology whereby we can remove the, a, a large number of hair follicles without giving a scar which happens in the typical Know, okay. hair transplant cases. Is that done one follicle at a time or yes. is it a strip? Yeah, we, we take one follicle at a time and because this robotic machine basically takes away one follicle at a time mm -hmm. and it does it very, very fast. So in expert hand, we can get uh, up to 3,000 hair grafts in, in say three, four hours, which is, which is pretty phenomenal. And uh, then we have got the system to replant it at the place where we have to put it. So how does that compare to what they used to do with hair transplant yeah, before? The conventional technology, technique for micro hair transplant is uh, by what we call the strip method. We actually take out a long strip of skin for the back of the patient, yes. where the hair is supposed to be genetically programmed to last for the longest period. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Is you that right? You will have a little hair between the two years. So that's true. Yeah. They, they are genetically programmed. And uh, uh, we, what we do is we uh, make, make those hair follicles full. We pull them. We put them in the front of your uh, skull. Yes. And they continue to grow in the same way as they would grow at the original side because they think they are growing their, their own. That's so amazing. Very important and very uh, good point that when we do a hair transplant, the transplanted hair stays all uh, it stays forever, it doesn't go. I mean, even the person, if the person has a tendency to lose hair, the hair yes. originally there right. was supposed to be lose, lost, they can be lost, but these transplanted hair will stay there forever. So, what's the procedure? Do you do, do they, do you anesthetize the area? Do uh, you, yes. we yeah? give some local anesthetic. It's a very uh, like simple anesthetic, local anesthetic procedure. There's yes. no need to put the, any, any general anesthesia or any sedation also. So we just give a local anesthesia. We call, like going to the we call it general, uh, regional anesthesia. Basically, we block the nerve supplying that part of the mm -hmm, scalp, mm -hmm. so that area becomes completely numb. And then, with the help of this uh, robotic machine, we take out the hair follicles. And as I told that an expert, and it can be really very fast. And uh, then there is a technique by which we make a fresh hole at the area where the graft graft is transplanted. Yeah. And uh, again, the same machine is used to put it, put them in right position. Okay, so you take the, the follicles out one by one and then do you automatically straight away put them... Taking it out one by one, yes. one by one and yeah. it's all getting collected somewhere. Uh -huh. And at the end when we know that we have had sufficient number of hair grafts, we just take the receptacle, we have got the whole lot of hair follicles with us. Yes. And then we you know, uh, replace it at the again, new place. Again the same machine is used. Uh, it just fix the hair follicle and then bang, it's in. Unbelievable. So it doesn't leave a scar or anything like it that? It doesn't leave any scar at all. And not only scar, because when you do the standard hair strip, uh, it uh, divides the nerves and the certain area of scalp remains numb for whole of the life. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, also the fact that there's a huge scar in the back of the scalp, although it is right. supposed to be covered by hair, but it's still right. scar is scar. Uh -huh. It can cause a little problem. So here, there's no scar at all. Okay. Bleeding? Bleeding is negligible, close to nothing. So that's that one right? of the good news. Because they are very, very fine you know, uh, punches through which we take out this. There's no bleeding at all on this. Okay, so if you took the the standard um, receding hairline, yeah. that's the nicest way I can put it, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, how many follicles would you need to to create a, an effective 
full head of hair? That totally depends on the area that needs to be grafted. Mm -hmm. See, we would like to do this surgery on a small or medium loss of hair. Okay. The reason being that donor area is limited. Uh -huh. So, in one strip technique, in one strip, you are able to take say between 1500 to 2000 hair uh, grafts. Uh, so we are limited by that. So if that is, we spread that in a big area, then obviously it's not going to give a normal look. Sure. Whereas if there is a small to medium area, then we can give a very high density, mm -hmm. which will look real normal. Here also, safer comes to your rescue, uh, because when you use safer, the donor area is the whole of the scalp, not just not just a strip. Of course. So yes. you can keep harvesting till you the, your number of uh, hair follicles that require. Uh, okay. So yeah. So they get the thickness that they're yeah. after. Yeah. So the ans answer to your question as to how many grafts are required, it totally depends on the area that needs to be okay. uh, you know, transplanted. Is there a, a, an age group at all, or is it just not at all? Really not at all. Yeah. I've, I've done on say 70 year old men as well. Is that and right? If you if you wish it and you think that is going to help you uh, cope up with your life better and you will mm -hmm. find happiness in that, mm -hmm. any age is no bad. Now you said um, men. D do women have this done as well? Oh yes, uh, it is. Uh, it does happen, although uh, much rarer. Yeah. Uh, and it has something to do with the estrogen because estrogen is supposed to. Uh, no, yes. uh, give hair a better longevity. But then yes, uh, sometimes lazy ladies come, they have got a different kind of hair loss. They usually have a thinning of the frontal hair, that we call it vault of skull. Over this area, sometimes they have a thinning of hair mm -hmm. and uh, the hair gets, hairs are there, but they are much sparse. Sure. So the scalp is visible to them. Yeah. And in them, I can, we can easily increase the density by hair transplant. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Really. And one last question, is it expensive? Well. Uh, it is an expensive procedure, it's a pure cosmetic procedure, mm -hmm. it's done as per your wish and uh, it's expensive and especially when you do by safer, it's a high-tech expensive med uh, equipment so it cost goes up again. Okay, can you give me an idea of the cost? Yeah, well uh, for a strip method, uh, typically we are charging between 20 to 40 dirhams per hair transplant. Uh -huh. uh, it goes uh, say up to 50 to 60 if we use robotic. But again, it depends on how many hair of uh, transplants are used. We are really, really flexible about it. Somebody who needs, say, three or four thousand hair transplants, we, we ask them to pay 60 the dirham per and it will be too much. So we try yeah. to give them a little bit of, uh, but of course, it's on the higher side. Okay, well, that's lovely. Thank you very much for joining me. I will let you go and change after your, your surgery, and hopefully, I'll catch up with you again. Sure, thank you so much. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Jan Herman on Aesthetic News, and we'll see you next time.